Hello and welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God. El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. And He wants to fill your heart and mind with that peace, with that love that He is. He wants us to rest in Him and abide in in him he will keep our heart and mind in perfect peace he'll help us not to fall into sin <laughs> if, we can, if, we, if we can honestly say fall into sin you know we get bamboozled in our minds and we go on the wrong path we choose the wrong thing in that moment but greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I'm so glad that we've been given the Holy Spirit who teaches us all things. If we learn to abide in Christ, like he said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you. See, in, in, in us abiding in him, we see clear, clearly. We have wisdom and we have knowledge. We have insight. We are, our heart and mind is kept by what God said and what God is saying. See, the Father is speaking into our hearts and he's speaking, he's writing his word in our mind. And we are able to have this life of God. The life that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Father of heaven and earth has always wanted for us. All we have to do is abide in his Son. He who has the Son has life. I mean, not just, and I'm not talking about just this physical life that we have in this world. We were born into this world, but because we said yes to Jesus being the Son of God who died and rose again. Because we know that God is. We have changed positions from being, you know, just sinners in this world to being saved by the grace of God. We're living in Christ in the heavenly realm. We are been transported from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light where we have life. Life is God. Life is in the knowledge of God. Life is in the Son of God who died and rose again. There's nothing too hard for the Lord, nothing impossible for him. I'm so tired of being consumed with the cares of this life the cares of the people around me it, all of the the wrongness of this life gets in your heart i could say I, I should say it like that it gets in that place where you care and you begin to talk about it you begin to lean on your own understanding you get these ideas that aren't god's ideas about the situation he knows how to overcome everything jesus overcame the world the flesh and the devil. Let's say it in the right order. He overcame the flesh, the devil, and the world. And walked in the in, in the Father. I want to say walked in the Father because he and the Father are one. In John ch chapter 17, it says that we are in Christ. If we're in, in Jesus, and Jesus is in, in the Father, then it's possible for us to be one with God. But that means that we have to lose these ideologies that we have. These thought processes that we're having, we need to leave them behind and get filled with the knowledge of God's will and get the wisdom and the understanding that we need of Him first. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the, the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It says in, in um, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Because, see, when we see Him, none of the situations of this life will be something that you can bring up. You're going to fall on your face. We're going to be in awe with Him. I choose to be in awe with Him right now. Because He's given us life. And, and because we sit in His presence... That presence that we're sitting in, it, it comes with us all day. The, he's, we're walking and we're talking and we're doing our job and we're going to the store, we're going to the doctors, we're going 
to the park. We're going uh, across town. We're doing whatever we're doing, visiting relatives. And the Lord is in us, and we're in him. And the, not, the nature of God is, is working in you and through you, is working for you. We're consumed with his love. We're consumed with his joy. We're consumed with, the, with who God is. And it's coming out of us. And even when when we're insulted and rejected, we're still got it together. We're still all right. Yeah, that hurt, but we take all of our cares and we bring it before the Lord and he helps us. He's the one who sustains us. I'll tell you again, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He's our life. I'm going to put some... I'm going to put some um, scriptures in the description for us to look at and I pray that you look at them and just get this word in your heart so that you can be kept by the one who's perfecting you the one who's making you whole he's already made us whole he's already perfected us when we said yes to Jesus we step out of this world and out of this flesh we stepped away from the devil and said yes to God and we are complete in him but it takes coming to this throne room of grace and then casting all your care before him and receiving what he said about whatever situation we're walking through it's coming into that throne room of grace it's going into that secret place of the most high and resting in the knowledge of who he is you know, when we see him, we know who we are. This is the one who will perfect. He will perfect. He will take care of what is concerning you. And we take it, the hurt, and we take the pain, and we take the suffering. We take it and put it before him, and we get his patience. We get long-suffering with joy. We're still filled with the joy of the Lord while we're going through this long situation and and it's so annoying but we can lay it down and get the strength of the Lord I hope somebody gets what I'm saying because see we're all in this together I don't want to think that I know everything I want to walk in the love of God in the grace of God I never want not I, I never want to walk in my high mindedness pride is not mine but a humble spirit a humble and contrite spirit is what god is looking for he's looking for a humble and contrite spirit it's in isaiah chapter 57 verse 15 he wants us to humble ourselves to his spirit god is spirit and he's working in us his peace he's working in his patience He's, if we see if we rest in him it's not going to be so much striving going on in us I can tell you I'm tired of striving I want the rest I want the peace because it's what he's given us when we get to heaven it's already done when we die when we leave this earth when we are caught up with to be with Jesus it's already finished the proof that we need that we're in Christ and Christ is in us and that he's the be all and end all he's it and we want all eyes on him, is to enter his rest and live in him and stop being troubled by everything that's going on around us. See, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The, lady, the, Lord, the Lord is able to keep your heart and mind. That's why we come to him, sit down, and know him. Don't be troubled by this life. Cast your cares before the Lord. I'm telling you, he cares for you. And he will he will perfect that which concerns you.